Suede and welcome everyone to Argo Suede Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. In this video feature, I'm gonna harvest some turmeric. I planted this turmeric somewhere after um, Hurricane Maria and I must admit, it's time to harvest them. Number one, how I know it's time to harvest them, I can feel the bump on the side of the container so I can feel the turmeric bump. As they expanded, I can feel the bump also at the top they're starting to shoot up and um, the turmeric themselves are starting to show on the top of the um, topsoil in the container and furthermore as you can see the plant is dying so that means it's done its work it's tired it's like please harvest me and I finally got some time so I decided in this video feature I'm gonna harvest the turmeric if you remember when I planted the turmeric I said I planted it in this soil this soil is purely compost soil this isn't like soil I dug up somewhere and then plant the turmeric in there this is purely compost so it, the harvest should be very easy the soil should be very soft furthermore I've got new compost and I need to make some more in there so I decided you know what it's definitely time to harvest it so let's go ahead and harvest this turmeric organically grown turmeric thank you so very much let's go ahead okay guys so I'm just gonna turn it over um, just so you could see let me just get closer for you to see I'm just gonna pull out the leaves so you could actually see it see them see the nice healthy turmeric in this nice bright orange healthy turmeric look at this look at this look at this wonderfully healthy turmeric let me show you this all grown from scratch see this wow this was the original turmeric fruit as you can see here so this is the original one I planted um, this was the one they were growing on top of the soil so these are the ones I was seeing um, I will have to plant these now as you can see it's getting ready to shoot out the new leaves so these are the ones I'm gonna plant um, these are the ones I will consume so that is the power of growing your own food in your backyard garden so this is very healthy I'll put these on the side also but this is the big result let's see how, how we did let's see how we did look at how we did yo this is the result let's see let's see let's see Oh no, it's not showing us yet. Okay, well, I guess it was not a bountiful harvest. Oh, it was a bountiful harvest. Oh, it was a bountiful harvest. It was a bountiful harvest. Look at this. Wow. Yo. Look at this. Not as big as before, I must admit. But it's, I, I got a harvest. Not as big as before, I must say. I remember the first time I grew it, but hey, I mean, this is even the turmeric plant felt the struggle of Hurricane Maria. <laughs> so it was not as much, not as much, but nonetheless, it is healthily grown, home grown turmeric. Home grown turmeric, bountiful harvest. So these are the old plants. So as you can see, this is like the old turmeric I originally planted, it's dead now. Very nice. Very nice. You see this? Very nice. Oh no, yeah, I had soil actually at the bottom of it. Yeah, so that's the soil. Maybe that's why you don't have the turmeric in it. This is the original soil. I had some soil in there, I forgot. It had some soil in the base. Oh. So this is the soil that is at the base. You can see soil. But there's something else at the bottom. There's this is like this is not turmeric, but this is also from the turmeric plant. I don't know. I can smell the turmeric scent, but it's not the actual turmeric you consume. Um, perhaps someone could tell me it's different for sure. It's different from the original turmeric. So that's the turmeric. That's something at the end of the turmeric. So that must be the actual root. Yeah, that's the actual root of the plant. So this and this is actually. I mean, it's, that is the root too. But it's like that's how they actually the rise zone. So this is what you would plant, and this was the actual roots. Yeah, this would help it to grow, as you can see. So I, I'm not quite sure if you can see it. So don't consume this. These are what you have to consume. So I hope that you guys enjoy this harvest. Of course, I will wash it up. You can wash it, chew it like that, grate it. Um, you can also make powder with it. I have to do more research on how to make the powder with it. But this is the original baby. This is the turmeric. Healthy turmeric. Very healthy turmeric. 
look at this you can see where the old plant was it's in this old not the old plant the old rhizome this was the old one this is a, these are the new ones so guys this is it i hope it did that to encourage you to grow your own turmeric in your backyard garden this is the result of growing um turmeric in a simple container and it is possible just get some turmeric you can simply get like that much one two three four five like five turmeric really plant them at least um, six inches away from each other in a container or in a nice light soil raised bed as you notice most of the turmeric I, I harvest grew in the compost soil I made a mistake and I said that it's only compost soil in there but I remember now I had like this original soil at base this one right here of the container so right now I am actually gonna have to try my best to start it only with purely compost material this is the compost soil this one right here see how light it is so this is the compost soil, this is in it, but this one was um, the original soil I put at the bottom, I remember now why I put it because of the earthworms. Um, so thank you so very much for supporting AgroSuit Backyard Garden. Guys don't forget of course a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. AgroSuit is out! It's a love that is pure and deep Perfect and dependable It's the love that you have for me And all I ever try Lord, is to do the same I want to love you with a deep love So I praise and bless your name No heartbreaking fairy tale love It's a love that is so divine Lord, you're perfect and dependable And I can go And all I ever try, Lord, is to do the same. I want to love you with that deep love, so I praise and bless your name. Because there's no distance between us. You're always there when I pray. So I'm kneeling by my bedside. I must have prayed a thousand. So wonderful, it's your sacrifice that set me free. And all I ever try, Lord, is to do the same to love others with that deep love while I praise and bless your name. Cause there's no distance between.